What's up guys, welcome to this video where I am going to be showing you a really cool tool for getting better at flying FPV drones, which is the use of a Tiny Whoop drone. So, a Tiny Whoop drone is this little guy right here. This one in particular is from Beta FPV. Beta FPV is a really sick company um, and they have this drone kit that comes with a Tiny Whoop drone that you can really practice on and get better at. And then also comes with a controller that you can use to fly in the simulator. The simulator is also a really big thing for our getting better at FPV. And then it also comes with your own pair of goggles. So it really comes with everything you need to kind of just get used to the feeling of flying FPV. And for all beginners, I recommend going with a setup like this. And the Beta FPV is the best one that I've found so far. So basically what it is, it's just a tiny little drone that you can crash as much as you want. Um, we've both been flying around this drone for the past few days crashing it into this tree like a million times, the trampoline, the roof, and it's just been totally fine. It's just because it's so light. And the drone reacts exactly like a full cinematic FPV quad, so the, a full like five inch quad, it reacts exactly the same. There are little differences, but it's a really good way to just get the feeling of it. Um, and also the other thing like I talked about earlier is it comes with a controller that's compatible with simulators. So flying in the simulator is a really good way to improve on air FPV skills because again, you're flying a make-believe quad that has like pretty much real world physics. And so you can crash it as much as you want, but you're, you'll remember the skills you learn in the simulator when you finally make the jump. Um, so today's video is gonna be pretty quick. I'm just gonna set the drone up right over there and then uh, fly around, rip it around and show you guys some real world footage and stuff. But uh, yeah, let's do it. It comes in this case. Super small, super easy to carry around, and there's only three main components. So there's the goggles. When you first get it, you just have to put the antennas on real quick. It's super easy. Um, and then it's already charged, or at least it was for me. But when you need to charge it, um, there's a little port there. So then the next thing is the drone itself. And it's this little like Eva looking dude. Um, it's super sick, it's really durable. It just looks like a little alien. Um, but uh, yeah, as far as like flying it around and crashing it so far, we've, been, we've both been ripping it around a bunch the past couple days and it's been awesome. So that's the drone. And then the last thing is the controller. The controller actually feels really solid. Um, and again, it just charges by micro USB. Cool, so as far as just binding everything, everything's pretty much like all set up and should be charged. If not, like I said, just charge in that port, that port. And then the drone charges through USB. Um, so these are the little like gum stick batteries, <laughs> which are super dope. And they literally just plug into this USB charger and it's super easy. All you do is plug this in the right direction. Boom. All right, so that is all good to go. And then, yeah, charge these up, and then this is how they go on the drone. So bottom of the drone right here, you just slide this little battery in like that, and then plug it up. Once it's plugged up, you see some lights flashing and stuff just indicating that the drone is actually on. Cool, so the lights are on in the drone. Next step, um, which you need to do is just to bind the controller with the drone itself. And all you do to do that is just hit that bind button and then it automatically should bind. Um, you have to do that obviously after you turn it on and you do that by just holding this button. It'll vibrate twice, good to go. And then uh, as far as the goggles, super easy as well. Just press and hold the power button for a bit. And you will see that screen turn on. But uh, it really like gives you a sense of what an actual five inch quad is going to be like. Uh, yeah, and the other cool thing about these goggles is you can wear them with glasses. I like wearing my glasses, especially when I'm like editing on my computer a lot. So yeah, you just th throw them over your glasses and it's super simple. Um, as far as arming the quad, all you do is you make sure this is down. You make sure all your other switches are down as well. Um, so make sure they're down. Boom, this button here arms the quad. And then uh, from there, you can throw the goggles on and take off. It's very similar to what you're gonna experience in the simulator. Um, obviously, I'd recommend doing the simulator a bit first, but uh, yeah, once you're ready to fly, you can just throw the goggles on. Boom. And annoy the crap out of everyone in your house. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you.